me. And the disciples looked at Jesus and said, what did you mean? It's so many people around you. What did you mean? He said, no, somebody touched me in faith. Do you realize that everybody come to church, but everybody don't get the blessing? Because everybody don't come to touch God. See, some people clap and shout, and people don't receive the blessing. But I don't shout just to make noise, and I don't dance just to look good. I'm coming to touch God. The Bible says he turned around, and it was a woman that had an issue of blood. Hey, my God. For 12 long years. And the Bible says when she touched the hem of the Lord's garment, she was made whole in that same moment. Tell somebody he has the final say. Uh, the scripture says after all of that discourse went by, the Bible says a servant came to Jairus and said, Jairus, leave Jesus alone. It's too late. Your child is dead. Oh my God. But I'm so glad that it ain't over until God says it's over. How many have looked at odds that didn't look in your favor, but they forgot to calculate God? As long as God is on my side. I heard Romans say that God before me, who can be against me? The Bible says that Jesus went to the house of Jairus and he only took with him Peter, James, and John. Look at your neighbor tell him I only need believers around me. I don't need people that don't have no faith. I need some people that got some faith in this hour. I need some people that can look at a dead situation and speak life. If I ever end up in the hospital, I don't need people coming to my bedside talking about my color. Oh, yeah, he looked like a guy that's cut yeah, He looked about to die. Yeah, that's the same thing my aunt died with. No, I don't need, I need somebody to speak life. I need somebody to rebuke the devil off of me. I need somebody to come against the spirit of infirmity. I need somebody to cry, he will live and not die. And declare the works of the Lord. The scripture said Jesus went up in the room. And I come to tell somebody that need a miracle that Jesus is in the room. Somebody in here, you need a change in your situation. Look at your neighbor, tell them Jesus is in the room. Some of you need a change in your mind. Tell your neighbor Jesus is in the room. Somebody need a change in your finances. Somebody said Jesus is in the room. Jesus got up in the room and laid his hands on Jairus' daughter. And the Bible said she came forth. I come to tell you people of God what you thought was dead in this hour. I come to tell you that the Lord has the final say. It's not over until God said it's over. Good evening, y'all. I'm tired and finished. But before I go to my sheep, I want to tell you that it's not what it looks like. Some of you are looking at a circumstance where the sheep has been rolled over. Rolled over your vision. Rolled over your dream. But I come to tell you, though the vision tarry, wait for it. It's going to speak. Look at your neighbor. And said, neighbor, 2011 is your year. Oh, no, they won't good enough. Maybe they don't believe it. But look at them and say, neighbor, 2011 is my year. Oh, my Lord. God's got the power to say, we're getting ready. We're preparing the church for the coming of the Lord. And I come to tell you that the church will not go out like this. The church will not leave sick and disease. The church will not leave sick and in poverty. The church will not leave lame and blind. The church will not leave dying, dumb and living. The church will not leave barely making it. But the church is leaving. We're going to be raptured up. Healed. We're going to be raptured up. Set free. We're going to be raptured up. Deliverance. Because God has the last say. He says, I am the beginning and the ending. The first and the last. Look at your neighbor. It's a neighbor. It's not That's ready to die. I come to tell y'all that's ready to give up. I come to tell you that I ain't got time to die. Because I'm too busy living. Because the worst is behind me. And the best, I said the best, is 
yet to come. Huh? Get out of your seat huh? and tell somebody, huh? get ready to live. Huh? Get ready to live. Huh? Start making plans huh? to live huh? like you never lived. Huh? Start making plans huh? to go huh? where you never go. Huh? Start making plans huh? to do huh? what you never do. Huh? Get ready. Huh? Cause I believe God. Huh? I want to ask you, huh? I'm going to ask you a question. Who's report? Who's report? I said, who's report? Will you believe? I want to ask you a question. What would you try and what would you go to do if you knew you wouldn't fail at? you accomplish if you knew at going after it that no matter what happens the end result is that you're going to succeed. God has a lesson. So are you going to let this year go by like you did last year and did not even try to go after your vision you want to play it safe? I'm talking to somebody in here that, that you said you know, I, 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 did, did you know what? I'm not going to even I don't, I, I'll go to church. I'll visit church every so often, but I ain't walk down an hour and want to get saved because I can't do that. I know me. I, I'm, I'm going to wait till I can get myself straight now. How many of y'all know? I'm going to wait till I'm not going to try that. No, this is the time for you to do it. Amen. Because guess what? You'll never straighten yourself out. You can never straighten yourself out. Some of us see all these business plans sitting all over this church. Everybody in this church that got their business plan and got their vision, everybody is not going to see it come to pass. Because everybody's not willing to take a risk on God. <laughs> but them that know their God will be strong and do exploits. If you know God got the final say, I want you to praise Him for it. Hallelujah.